So what is Plex and why should you care? Well, Plex is a service that allows you to stream content such as movies, music files, podcasts. Imagine Netflix, but free. Imagine Hulu, but free. Imagine Spotify, but free. I've been using Plex for about 10 years and in this series of videos I'm going to show you the most secure way to set up your server and also how to do it and get media without going to prison for 5 years. That's always a plus. This is a multi-series how-to that I'm going to start here. If you like it and I get a lot of feedback, people want more, I'm going to continue on and turn you into a Plex Jedi that's going to be able to get all types of content and save you tons of money. Starting out today, I'm just going to show you a simple process of setting up an account and starting to access some free media. Let's get started. Now first navigate to Plex.tv and a link will be in the description as well. Now I suggest signing up. You can sign up for an account here. It's absolutely free for my future videos if you want to add content or remember your videos that you've seen and, and stuff like that. You'll want to have an account so you can just create an account using your email address. So you'll create an account, add your email address, create a password. Now you can click launch and this is actually launching Plex within the web browser. So this is actually connecting to Plex.tv and right off the bat you can see you can play any of these videos. So you've created an account and you can start watching videos. This is all free. Michigan teen who needed now the free, the free content is going to come with had to um, learn to breathe again. advertisements. 40 agonizing days in the them down. Green light 21 B. Green light. Missiles away. You just click this to exit. So already right off the bat this is pulling in content from Crackle, and you can start to watch these shows. This is all, all free. All you have to do is set up an account. This guy's happy about it. And you can go to full screen by clicking in the top right. And then you can watch this in full screen. And also you can download an app for PlayStation. You could download the Plex app in Roku and just sign in with the credentials that you created. So that's and you can watch it on your TV. And looking at the TV area, if you click on live TV, you can pick different TV shows. Let's see. Uh, that's a good one here to click on. It shows all the different TV times. It's basically live TV, but here's Wipeout. And the quality gets better too. It's kind of like Netflix or Hulu when you sign in. If you give it a little bit of time, it'll buffer and um, it'll clear up and start looking better as you watch it. That's Courtney on the left and Amanda on the right. 21 year old Courtney is a street dancer from Kent. And 39-year-old Amanda yeah, is see, a they're all excited about Plex. Corby. Together, they are, well, Courtney and Amanda. Woo! Yeah, she loves Plex. That's a Plex user right there. Yeah, so you got TV shows here that you can watch. We also have news channels. If you go over here to the left, click on news. In music, you need um, the title pass plus Plex. But I'll show you how to add your own music files later in another video. I'll show you how to add music files and it'll go find content. It'll, you'll come here and it'll display all the graphic arts to the music files and such. And you can also search by category. So here's comedy. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of different movies all free that you can click on. They're pulling them, like I said, they're pulling them in from Crackle and other places on the internet. Your sci-fi. 
Oh, the cube. That's a pretty unique show. And then you can just fire it up and it'll start playing. This is Mars. I think Mars. I think we're missing the point. This is what we came here for, isn't it? Don't you think we ought to check it out? He knows what he's doing. So we're going to entrust the greatest find in human history. So that's how you set up an account. Is that it? And start to use this. This is streaming the media from Plex.tv, server in the cloud. And another quick trick here, if you click down like podcasts, it might say it's unavailable. But here's the trick. If you go into categories and then pick a category, you can actually see the content. So if you ever get that error, that's a trick to get past that and be able to see the content. And it's the same thing for these shows, web shows. Sometimes those come up as an error, but you can click on that all shows tab at the top. Yeah, you can start one of these web shows. There's Beetle Bailey. Senator's favorite dish. Uh, sir, rising zero intelligence. Uh, he likes roast duck with So if you run into that air, don't worry about it. That's a quick tip on how to still access the content. A lot of free content. And like I said, this is just the beginning of your journey in Plex because we can add content to this. We can add your own movie files, your own music files, commercial free. It'll go out, it'll find the poster for it, it'll find all the details to it, it'll transcode it. We can get it to play on your PlayStation, on your cell phone, your Roku, your smart TV, and uh, you just need the Plex app. In the future videos, I'll run you through exactly how to do it and the best way to do it, especially the safest way to set up your own Plex server to get the content without breaking any laws so thanks for watching i appreciate it if you like this video and you want to see more please be sure to smash that like button so i know what to spend my time on for making content thanks a lot have a great day